everyone welcome back to our youtube channel SQL and data science if you are new to here and want to learn about food processing technology please hit the subscribe followed by the bell today we are going to talk about food emulsions emulsions are complex systems comprising of two or more liquids with one being dispersed in the other one here you can see there are different types of emulsions Food emulsion consists of two immiscible liquids with one of the liquid dispersed as small spherical droplets in the other. In foods, the diameter of these droplets usually falls somewhere in the range of 0.1 to 100 micrometers. Now let's see what is oil in water emulsion. Oil in water emulsions contain two immiscible liquids with oil being dispersed as spherical droplets in water phase. Examples of commonly consumed foods as oil in water emulsions are milk, mayonnaise, cream, dressings, cream cheese and soups. As most food emulsions are in the form of oil in water, these emulsions are the most widely studied model system in food science. Moreover, foods containing water as they are continuous space can easily be enriched with oil-soluble bioactive compounds such as omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids, vitamins, carotenoids, and pyrosterols through oil in water delivery systems. Oil in water emulsions can be classified into two categories according to the dispersed phase volume fraction as low fat and high fat emulsions. High fat content results in a thick or viscous emulsion whereas low fat emulsions are thinner and less viscous. Then let's see what is water in oil emulsion. Water in oil emulsions consist of an aqueous phase dispersed as spherical droplets in a continuous liquid phase. They have a wide range of applications in the food industry, for instance, in products such as butter, spreads, margarine, and cocoa butter, and the cosmetics and pharmaceutical industry, for example, in products such as sunscreen and lipstick. The other type of emulsion is water in water emulsion. Water in water emulsion is also known as double emulsion. It is a type of emulsion where Water droplets are dispersed in another continuous space of water. They are used in the food industry to create low fat or low calorie products that still have desirable texture. Low fat mayonnaise, low fat or dairy free chocolates are some examples from water in water emulsions. The other type of emulsion is oil in oil emulsion. Oil in oil emulsions, also known as water free emulsions, and hydrous emulsions and non aqueous emulsions. They are mixtures of immiscible oils, for example, vegetable oil and silicon oil stabilized by particles. These emulsions are also formed by dispersion of oil droplets in an immiscible non aqueous liquid. The most important issue to consider in the formation of these uncommon emulsions is lack of information on the action of surfactants on the non aqueous media. Oil in oil emulsions are mostly considered for drug delivery purposes where a given agent is incompatible with water. Then let's see what is oil in water in oil emulsion. Oil in water in oil emulsion is oil dispersed in water and then this emulsion is dispersed in a second oil paste. For them, the inner oil paste is also called O1 and the outer oil paste is O2. These multiple emulsion systems have potential for application in the food industry. The application possibilities are encapsulation so protection of sensitive bioactive compounds such as iron, curcumin, and fatty acids, and to control release of flavor and aroma, and to produce food with lower oil or fat content. The most popular application of multiple emulsions remain those concerned with encapsulation and release. The other type of multiple emulsion is water in oil in water emulsion. Water in oil in water emulsions, water is the first dispersed 
in oil and then this emulsion is dispersed in a second water paste. From there, the inner water paste is called W1 and outer water paste is W2. These multiple emulsion systems have potential for application in the food processing industry. The application possibilities are encapsulation or protection of sensitive bioactive compounds. The most popular application of multiple emulsions remain those concerned with encapsulation and release. Nano emulsions are type of emulsions that consist of very small droplets, typically in the range of 20 to 200 nanometer in size. They are transparent or translucent, thermodynamically stable and have a long shelf life. Nano emulsions are created by breaking down larger droplets into smaller ones, often through a use of high pressure homogenization, ultrasound or microfluidization. Nano emulsions are used to improve the bioavailability of nutrients in beverage to create stable salad dressings with lower fat content, also to improve the texture and shelf life of baked goods. Then, the other type of emulsion is pickering emulsion. The term pickering comes from the names of the scientist S.U. Pickering who first described this phenomenon in 1907. Pickering emulsion is a type of emulsion stabilized by solid particles instead of traditional surfactants. The solid particles form a stable layer at the interface of the two immiscible liquids, preventing the droplets from coalescing and separating. Pickering emulsions have several advantages over traditional emulsions stabilized by surfactants, such as improved stability, enhanced shelf life, and better resistance to coalescence and creaming. Mayonnaise, ice cream, food additives, oil recovery, and dunk delivery are some examples for pickering emulsions. Now let's see what are the methods to prepare emulsions. There are several methods as mechanical stirring, high pressure homogenization, ultrasonication, microfluidics, and paste inversion. Here you can see the summary of them. So this is the brief overview of food emulsions. You can read more books and research papers to get a detailed knowledge about food emulsions. If you have any clarification, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.